Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Today I am bringing you my semifinals match in the Zabuza of the Waters Little Cup Tournament. Yesterday I brought you the finals, the championship round against Sizayoshi as a 1 hour and 12 minute um, live narration. That thing was brutal. It was brutal to edit. Uh, and I am honestly not very proud of it. Uh, not just because of how the matches went, but because of how I narrated them. Uh, it kind of showed my darker side. When I'm battling, I tend to be stressed, and when I'm stressed, I tend to say things that are really unfair. Um, I accused Sidayoshi of scouting my team, which was completely unfounded and completely unfair. And also, if he had, what would have been the big deal there? I mean, the battles were up. Um, that would have been completely okay. But he didn't. That's the bottom line. He didn't. And it was extremely wrong of me to suggest that he did. So, um, folks, I am really sorry about that. But now I'm going back in time to a happier battle. Um, slightly happier. Anyway, this is my semifinals match against Rarer. Um, he is one of the. He and Sizayoshi are two of the few po uh, players who I did not um, breed anything for. Um, most of the people in Zabuza of the Waters tournament, either he bred Pokemon for them or I bred Pokemon for them or both. Uh, this, uh, these are all his Pokemon. Um, my guess is they're RNG, considering every one of them is shiny. Um, but anyway, uh, this is also unfortunately not our first match. Uh, we had another battle that went to went really far in. We were neck and neck throughout. I think it got ended up at like three and three, and then disconnected. Uh, it's impossible to say who disconnected. I think it was him based on what was going on on my end in terms of like what happened after the battle, like connection-wise. But it's again, it's impossible to tell. So anyway, first turn, uh, Ambar is a good lead against um, me and Fu. So I went ahead and went for the Dazzling Gleam. Uh, if he'd gone for the Fake Out, I don't think he actually carries the Fake Out, but if he'd gone for the Fake Out, then I could have uh, locked him in with a um, an Encore. Anyway, um, at least I did some damage off um, to this Ghastly, and now my uh, Timber is out and can take it out with a knockoff. He wisely goes out into his Nian Fu here, um, and that was, you know, that's fine. I knock it off. I'm hoping that I can cover up quite a bit of damage with uh, Drain Punch here, now that he doesn't have an Inviolite. The other thing goes for the Acrobatics, and I survive only on 1 HP, and I'm like, oh, that did a lot more damage than I was expecting, or now I didn't think he was going to go for the Acrobatics. I don't think he used Acrobatics in the previous match. I can't remember. And it wasn't recorded, so, wow. Um, I can't take another one, um, so I'm going to switch out here. Uh, no, I'm not going to switch out here. I go for the, I'm going to go for the Mock Punch and just try to get a little bit more damage off on him, and it's not like he's going to recover very well, if he goes for the acrobatic, yeah, whatever. So I go for the mock punch, doesn't do too much against Fletchling, but that's okay. I'm gonna, gonna go ahead and withdraw Akoria here. Gonna go up into, yeah, so Akoria, so it, had that been uh, physically defensive, um, or had that been my specially defensive um, timber, it would not have taken that acrobatics nearly as well. So in that sense, maybe physically defensive, physically defensive is the preferred set these days, and I can kind of see why. Anyway, um, long claw, pretty much 100% counter for, um, Fletchling, assuming it does not carry the what's it, the overheat, and not very many of them do. So now I go ahead and take the knockoff because I really have no other choice. Also, I think I can take him out with an Iron Head. I can't, but I get him really close to the point where I can take him out now with a uh, Shadow Sneak. Um, he knows that, and you know he's had the Regenerator. Regenerator is an awesome ability in Little Cup, uh, and especially on Mianfu. And that's why it's usually like the number one Pokemon in the tier. So anyway, uh, Chin Chow does not take that hit very well. So I know that it's, I'm pretty sure it's Barry Juice. Uh, I'm going to go now out into Ambar. Ambar should be able to wall it. Sometimes they carry Ice Beam, but it's not a very common move. It doesn't have Volt, which is out. That's fine. I don't particularly care. Um, and, you know, I'm, I'm this, he's at a really great point where uh, a move that would have been a two hit KO will will be able to KO him in one hit and not activate his berry juice most likely. Anyway, so uh, I go ahead and do the double... Do I do a double switch? No, he both switched out and I didn't want to take the Iron Head. So he goes ahead and Iron Heads here. I'm um, basically sacking Long Claw. Um, actually, no, that's not true. I knew he was Scarfed. That was... This was a... Oh, he's not Scarfed. Okay, I don't know what I was doing here. I was sacking uh, Long Claw. And that's that's all it was to it. I needed to bring in Ikoria. Uh, um, if I didn't bring in Ikoria... I don't know what I was doing. Um, that's a really strange move of me, uh, because I could have brought in Akoria, gone for um, Mock Punch, and Akoria had enough health that it could have survived the Sucker Punch. So, here I go for the Hidden Power fighting, and I am going to take out that uh, Ponyard, and that's going to be fine. But he's got he's got uh, Fletchling, who has priority, so it's really not the best thing for me. So he goes out into Ghastly, and I think, I don't think he has the Sucker Punch. Does he have the Sucker Punch? 
Um, no, I think he has a sucker punch. Uh, and that's, I'm banking on him having a sucker punch, so I'm going to go ahead and switch out into Ikoria. I don't know why. Shadow Ball is, is going to kill me, so I'm sacking him two Pokemon here. And I didn't need to sack either one, so I can't say I was playing my best here. But now that Ikoria is sacked, I can go out... Oh, I think Ghastly, I think Ghastly is Scar. So anyway, um, this is actually putting me in a good situation where I, I think he's Scar... Yeah, he's definitely... Well, I'm pretty sure he's Scarfed, um, and I think basically who's the, with the, the Pokemon he's got left, I'm thinking I can go ahead and go for a Shell Smash, and I should be able to sweep the rest of his team. Uh, honestly, it looks like from the start I could have swept his entire team because I don't think he really has anyone for um, my uh, Rafi, for my, um, my Timber. So now, uh, again, I'm pretty sure he's Scarfed. He's going to go ahead and withdraw Ghastly here, uh, and he's going to go out into Chin Chow. And I think I was, I think I go for the waterfall here. Um, no, I go for the aqua jet because he, he was still outfed me. Um, and I don't get the KO, and it's going to activate his berry juice and me back up the full. I got a critical hit, but critical hit, berry juice, and all balances out in the end. Anyway, so uh, and now Stone Edge, I'm like, please don't miss, please don't miss. But even if he missed, it would have. Well, yeah, I'm just glad it didn't miss. I take out Chin Chow, it's not a problem, and that was really his best hope of defeating me. He's gonna go into Mianfu. Mianfu does not have the fake out, is only at half HP, and there's no way it's surviving, except for he's gonna go ahead and withdraw. So he's basically trying to get his Mianfu back up to full health because the counts say that a full health Mianfu can maybe possibly survive a waterfall. Um, so uh, I go ahead and waterfall and he's gonna sack his Archon here, and yeah, the, the, aim of his, the aim of his game is to get his Mianfu back up to full health. So I'm predicting that he's gonna send it out next turn. He actually does, he goes out into Fletchling. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I go ahead and go for the Aqua Jet here. Uh, I don't know whether it'll kill, uh, and it doesn't, because actually Fletchling has a decent amount of bulk. So he goes ahead and goes for the Acrobatics. Um, doesn't do very much. I survive on 13, and another Aqua Jet will take, uh, will take him out. So that's good, and that's going to be a dead Fletchling. Really, I probably would have been better off going for the Waterfall just in case it got for like, what, the Swords? No, I, what, Aqua Jet was fine. So now it's going to be Ghastly. Uh, Ghastly is fairly frail. I can take it out with an Aqua Jet. Shouldn't be any problem at all. And now he's down to his last Pokemon, which is Mianfu. So even if um, even if Mianfu survives this waterfall here, I can still take him out with the rest of my team, namely Abra, um, because Abra's still alive with one HP. Uh, and I go ahead and go for the waterfall. He wasn't at full. I'm pretty sure the calcs say that I would have KO'd um, regardless at that range. Um, but it doesn't matter. I won. Uh, Rarer was not particularly happy about that, but, you know, I wasn't particularly happy about my loss to Cesar Yoshi either. Um, so, folks, I hope you enjoyed uh, this battle. Comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge, and take it easy. So long.